I'm your host, Brian Motherfucking Moses. This is the Rose Battle League, where we take all the Rose Battle All-Stars from all over the world. We bring them right here at Jam in the Van. We put them right in front of you, and you fall in love. Are we ready? <laughs> Guy coming to the stage from Chicago, a Mexican in Chicago. <laughs> I didn't think they were there either. Keep it going. Gabriel Alviso! <laughs> My name is Gabriel Alviso. I'm uh, from California, but I'm a Chicago-based comic. I know that Digits is Mexican and he suffers from brain damage. You're battling the uh, the legend that is Digits. You know about him. I, I met you in Chicago. You were like, you were just fucking seething at the fucking bit to get at this guy. What do you hate about this guy the most? Um... I mean, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe's, a, Gabe's a killer. This is going to be fun. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know him, you're about to make it loud for the Inland Empire's own Los Digits! <laughs> Los Digits. What's up, uh, motherfuckers? What's up, Los Digits? Nothing, fool. Y'all ready for the real Los Digits? Nah, motherfucker, y'all ready for the real Los Digits? Make some noise for the fool that got kicked out of school, Los Digits! Yo, my name is motherfucking Los Digits, dog, and I verbally swing on motherfuckers. What I know about my opponent is he's a transplant from Salinas, California, and he's claiming Chicago. Hey, dog, you already jumped the border. Don't jump the lines between California and Chicago. What up, motherfucker? Hey, it's the real Los Digits! <laughs> You're battling Gabe here. Like, wh why are you battling this fool? Cause fool, he's from Chicago. And I hate deep dish bitches, dog. <laughs> it's one round, it's five jokes. In English, <laughs> guys, last battle of the night. Let's make it so fucking loud we break this bitch. Battle, battle, battle. Game, digits, let's roast. Hey, digits looks like if Ice Cube got deported by ice. <laughs> Not even black fool. What the fuck? Hey, everybody, give it up for Mitch Headlice. <laughs> hey, yo, he doesn't really believe in luck. But he does tell prostitutes that run away from him, break a leg, bitch. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to uh, be battling in Jam in the Van. You know, Jam in the Van isn't just the name of the venue. It's uh, what Digit's family had to do to sneak into this country. So that is, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It was a semi, fool. <laughs> this guy's semi-retarded, so. <laughs> Fuck, no, I commit, homie, I'm fully, homie. This fool sounds like he's been committed. So. Shut up, Juan Lennon. <laughs> Gabe looks like the only active night school shooter. I bought my guns from him, so that is... You know, Digits isn't even Mexican. He's just an Italian with autism. So. <laughs> Digits is actually the first down-ass fool to be diagnosed with down-ass syndrome. <laughs> hey, yo, this motherfucker right here came all the way from Chicago to jam in the van because he thought I was putting a bunch of kids inside his vehicle. Digits can't even keep count of how many kids he actually has, so... <laughs> Five, dog. Because <laughs> that's the highest number he knows how to actually count to. Yeah. Digit's mom was actually going to get an abortion, but uh, she missed her appointment because there was a Raiders game on TV that day. Channel 11, fool. Oh, so you can count higher than five. All right, I'm mistaken. That was... You done? <laughs> This motherfucker had a show called Laugh Now, Cry Later. Motherfucker, it should have been called Laugh Later, Bathe Now, fool. I can't believe I'm getting washed by this fucking guy who washes cars for a living. That is... Look at him, dude. He's taking a knee. He's such a lazy Mexican. He just takes a rest after every joke. That's how I know you're not a real Mexican, fool. 
I don't even know if this guy's a real person. <laughs> Digits used to be a valet driver, but he got fired because he kept on stealing people's catalytic converters. That's why I know you're not Mexican. You say catalytic, fool. <laughs> Give it up for Spick Coley, dog. <laughs> hey, uh, give hold it on, up for... That wasn't even uh, my okay. joke. <laughs> Call down, Felipe Esparcita. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker recently joined the Women's March for Domestic Violence. He said, if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> and then beat them, dog. <laughs> All right, Takate 6 9 it's like I'm battling Edward James almost finished high school. Nobody watches Star Trek, fool. <laughs> I didn't even know that that's where it was from. <laughs> One more way. No, whatever, whatever right, you right, want. Yeah. Dude, so. I, yeah, I couldn't keep count. Keep it going. Keep it going. Corraza, <laughs> way. And digits, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First Mexican to fucking give a white guy their job back. Right. <laughs> wow, that was uh, that was a lot. So I've been booking battles for this show for like three, four years now. Yeah. Of all the battles I've ever booked, this is the one I'm most excited about. So much for fun. The mo this is how yeah. I envisioned it in my head. Yeah. Because we've been watching Digit's battle, and he does something that nobody else does, and nobody seems to know how to handle it. Gabe handled it perfectly. They both had great jokes. But I might have seen Digits get out riffed tonight, which I never thought I would see. You were on point with fucking everything, dude. From the jump, I mean, it was great. Digits comes out drinking the Modelo because he has the Special Needs. Uh... <laughs> 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 gotta be honest, my favorite thing was when he couldn't hit the squat for like two seconds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my man was struggling over there for sure. By the way, I know we don't officially have Roast Battle merch, but I, I nominate... One of them is going to be on an airbrush t-shirt before the end of the year, so... <laughs> yeah, it's digits, We dude. should look into that, for sure. I started writing down the jokes I, I liked, and I got, like, 20 jokes. It was a five-joke battle, and I got, like, 20 jokes. Juan Lennon, night school shooter, I gave up, man. Dude, so I, good. I never, ever, ever do this. I always pick a winner, but I got to see one more on this. Yeah! Uno más! Uno más! Triple E, you're from Los Angeles. You know all. You know you, you grew up in a Mexican neighborhood. Talk to me Fucking about this. Fucking Raiders, dog. Um, uh, this was the best battle I've ever seen. Really wanted to go for the Mexican from Los Angeles, but Mars Volta over here, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Really crush that shit. I mean, there, it sucks that someone has to win and someone has to lose, but I, I, I got I got for Chicago on this one. Okay. Yeah, Mike, who do you like, Santana or a guy who works at Santana? <laughs> <laughs> every every gangster rapper from the '90s or every bassist in Soundgarden. It's right. <laughs> No, this was fucking fantastic. I only want to see one more joke if the Cholo double has to do it. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was fucking really fun. Um, wherever the, the real digits is, I, I guess he doesn't want criticism. Um, I don't know where you did. <laughs> no, I, I thought that was his best battle. Uh, I can't address you like you're... It's, no, uh, this is fucking dumb. <laughs> So, so, sorry, Needy Gonzalez. Um, but I, I, I think it was you either way, man. There was just fucking, you had like such poise and such creativity. Your riffs were great and your written jokes were fantastic. Oh, so I think it was you. You're, you're, you're one of the best I've ever seen. The first time I've seen. Blew my fucking mind. Wow. Thank you, man. That's two votes, folks. Make it loud for Chicago's own Mr. Gabriel Avito. Shake each other's hand, hug they each other. <laughs> Man. Man, that's a racist song. That's